Here's a hot take. Not enough species are extinct. Hi, I'm Kate, and this is Minute Earth. Wait a minute, I'm not saying I want more species to go extinct. What I mean is that only 902 animal and plant species have been officially declared extinct worldwide by the IUCN, the organization tasked with determining which species have gone extinct. And if this seems like a really small number, that's because it is. There are actually a lot more than 902 extinct species out there. For starters, that number only includes species that have gone extinct since 1500, so it doesn't account for all the dinos and dimetrodons and whatnot that disappeared long ago. And even if we just take a look at more recent extinctions, there are still a lot of species that aren't being counted. First, because although there are somewhere around 2 million known species on our planet, the IUCN only has the data and resources to closely track a tiny fraction of them. So there are almost certainly species we know of that have gone extinct and we haven't noticed. There are also tons of species out there that we don't know exist in the first place, somewhere between 3 million and 100 million, depending on who you ask. So there are definitely species disappearing that we've never even identified in the first place. So lots of extinct species aren't reflected in the official count. But these extinctions are only part of what I mean when I say not enough species are extinct. There's another group of species that should maybe also count. See, the IUCN only declares a species extinct when there is no reasonable doubt that the last individual of a species has died. But there are 2,100 endangered species which nobody has spotted in at least a decade. They aren't officially extinct, they're just missing. Like the ivory-billed woodpecker, whose last verified sighting was 57 years ago. The fat catfish, which nobody has seen in 65 years. And the Blanco blind salamander, which has been MIA for 71 years. Heck, a full quarter of missing species haven't been seen in over 100 years. We could just take all the species that have been missing for a certain length of time, say 50 years, and call them extinct. That sounds pretty reasonable. But the Seychelles giant tortoise was found alive 150 years after its presumed extinction. And the black-browed babbler showed up after having been missing for 170 years. Then there's the coelacanth, a fish that paleontologists only knew from 240 million-year-old fossils. Until 1938, when a live one was pulled out of the water near Madagascar. So we can't determine whether something is extinct just by how long it's been missing. Plus, if we label a species as officially extinct when it might not be, it could end any environmental protections actually keeping it alive. That's why the IUCN isn't willing to label any of these 2,100 missing species as extinct, even though most of them probably are. So maybe it does make sense to keep these missing species in extinction limbo, even if that means keeping the official number of extinctions way lower than we know it actually is. Like way, way, way lower. If you care about extinction, in the anti-extinction kind of way, which I assume our amazing viewers do, then I want to introduce you to Planet Wild, which sponsored this video. Check out their most recent video about saving the aptly named Little Owl, which you can find in a few seconds right here.